have installed a brake controller and your seven prong plug on a 05 GMC 3500. So you need three things. You need this wiring harness plugs into your fuse box um, about underneath your parking brake and that goes from here to the other plug which will plug into your brake controller which will be mounted on your dash and then this this is all plug and play people this is super easy this goes to what i call your let's see if i find it mine's like right here you go there's mine right there see mine's dirty the cap's falling off of it and someone did a terrible job splicing in this weird plug here so see this stupid splice is my gun so we're going to clean that up um and uh, get a toothbrush and get some of that dirt out there and blow it out. And then I'll mount my uh, thing probably right about here. That's thin enough I could drill through. But yeah, this is your standard seven wire plug and it also has a four wire flat in it too with a dust cover, which is important. So all together, this, this is the three things you need. Um, this one's item number is 780. 5011. This item number is 7437811. And this item number is 40955. All right. And I recommend a little what they call electrical light bulb grease. And uh, it's kind of it has salt in it and stuff. And for like that back connection, I'm going to wrap that in electrical tape, but first I need to clean it out. And so that's what I'm going to use there. So, uh, yeah, so basically you'll need this. Um, they should come with metal tapping screws, and we'll get to installing it, and I'll show you guys how. Um, on your your electrical panel, which is underneath here, it will be, which is hard to see, right here is where you're going to plug it into. And if you read in your little box right here, that is your trailer six-way. Let's see if I can film this. Gonna plug it till I hear my click. Okay, now it's in. We're gonna keep poking it. Click. Very good. So that's really the only tough electrical connection we'll make. Now we're gonna need to zip tie this to something. Probably to this. There's a piece of metal right here. I can zip tie it to perfectly. And uh, we'll go ahead and put our cover back on because that's that's the hard part, really. It just plugs and plays right there. Okay. And we're gonna put our brake controller right here. All right, you put your bracket where you want it. I decided a little bit higher. Uh, that way it clears my knee. And so there's little pre-drilled screws here. And it's gonna mount somewhat like that. And so uh, it's just uh, little pre-tapped holes and you got, they give you the screws and they're self-tapping. So are the screws going to the dash. It's easy peasy Japanesey. I'm using my impact because that's what I need is 1400 pounds of torque now just because it's handy and uh, works great for it so we're just gonna tighten these screws in and uh, we'll be almost be done the brake controller is installed it's adjustable uh, I got plenty of wire slack you could actually go you know mount it here but then yeah I don't know but anyway so I'm gonna tape up this slack and hide it up underneath the dash and I'm going to electrical tape all my joints just in case so that part's good now we're gonna turn our attention to the rear of the vehicle and so here is my what I call a tumbler jack right here and this is what my thing's gonna plug into but first I want to clean this up with air and a toothbrush because this has been exposed and all right cleaned it up and you poke it in there until it clicks there's a little crass clasp on it so that's good to go. And what I need to do here is see where someone had cut into the wires and put wire splices on. I'm gonna tape all that up and fix that up. I'm also gonna tape this connection with electrical tape. There is a little rubber gasket in there to keep water out, but just to be case, uh, to be sure. And then I need to mount this bracket. And I'm thinking right below the license plate holder, right about there would be a good place. Probably on this side because I usually, when I get out of my truck and I gotta unhook a trailer, I'll be on the driver's side, so that'd be easier. My wire connection is made and wrapped, and I went ahead and drilled my plate here. And so all I gotta do is line this up and attach my bolts that go through the MOF. So my brake controller has been working great, it's all hooked up. Uh, I do need to rework the wiring on this trailer, it's a little crispy, <laughs> and I need to redo the boards on it. But yeah, so uh, that's how you install a brake controller.
all good. All the wiring's tucked up underneath. Not that hard to install at all. It's all plug and play on these newer trucks. Uh, I had to do my 79 Dodge and I had to hardwire it. And it was difficult. <laughs> so this is good. Easy peasy. Briggs and easy. What do you say, Briggs? You think this is a good video? What? Come here. Come here. YouTube style, Briggs. Why are you smelling this?